and as the streets get more crowded in Asia and more polluted, car makers are rethinking the design of the taxi. Two new cars have been unveiled at the Tokyo Motor Show. Mike Fern went for a preview, and Mike, what did you learn there? Uh, well, there's more to see than there was two years ago. 76 uh, new models, 40. 40% more than the last show. You talked about the fuel cell vehicle that Toyota's showing off there. It's also showcasing its new concept taxi for Japan. Catch a cab on the streets of Tokyo and the chances are you'll be riding in one of these. The Toyota Crown is the cabbie's choice. It's been around since 1955 and it feels like it. But if Toyota's Japan Taxi makes it into production, passengers may find themselves catching a ride in something that looks a lot like a London cab. Toyota designed it in response to government calls for user-friendly taxis. We've placed a large sliding door at the back, so access is very smooth. Even an elderly person can get in and out very easily. The vehicle is an LPG hybrid. Liquid petroleum gas is the most popular fuel among Japanese taxi companies. For an even cleaner ride, a Singapore-based research team has come up with this electronic cab. This concept car is uh, specially designed for the purpose to be an electric taxi in Singapore, in tropical mega cities. So uh, the main advantage of this car is the aircon system, uh, the fast charging capability of the whole car. For being an electric taxi in Singapore, it's really important that this car is able to fast charge that means we are able to achieve here a charging time with 15 minutes and this will lead to a range of 200 kilometers. But with no date for either vehicle to go into commercial production, the taxi ride in Singapore and Tokyo is likely to be as dirty and cramped as ever for a few more years to come.